Slave is the true story of an extraordinary young woman, Mendy Nasser. It celebrates her ancient African culture and is testimony to her indomitable spirit in the face of adversity and shattered dreams. Mende grew up in the beautiful Nuba Mountains of Sudan. When she was nine years old, her happy childhood was cruelly cut short when Mujahideen raiders attacked her village. They murdered, raped the women, and abducted the children. Mende was one of those children. Sold to an Arab family in Khartoum, she spent the next ten years in slavery. In 2000, Mende was passed on to a family in London, where she managed to escape. She eventually won asylum in the UK, wrote her best-selling book, and is now a British citizen. In 2006, Mendy made the journey back to Sudan for the first time, to see her family, and also to witness the unrelenting suffering of others. She visited a refugee camp in the Nuba Mountains, full of Darfurians seeking safety. Men, women and children tell Mendy their stories, which parallel her own. They took her under the tree, and, and since then and she, she doesn't know anything what happened to her. So when she works, so there is nobody there, but she, she was naked. But her clothes was on the tree, and the people weren't around. She, she just doesn't know what happened to her. She said uh, after that, uh, she understood what happened to her because she was uh, she there is a blood coming out, and she she's in pain. So that 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 was she realized that there's something they they done something to her because there is pain and there is a blood there. Oh. The visit in refugee camp is really, is really take my memory back to my days when I was captured. I start to rethink what happened to me personally, to my own self. When I see children are missing, their child and their daughter, I thought of my own parents. I said, oh, that, that, I think that's the only moment I really is too close to me to feel that my parents had been suffered the same way. I really, that, that's the only moment I felt, yes, my, my dad and my mom, really that's the way they suffered, I realized. <laughs> The man who had originally captured me came and grabbed me and put me over to his horse. He asked me my name. I didn't want to tell him. But Behind the story is, uh, is all about my childhood when I was captured away in an age uh, between 12 and 13. Just when the, the village was attacked by the raiders, the Arab, so, and that was about in the middle of the night when my dad went out and and there was a noise and my mom and I we followed him there was some strange people setting fire on the huts and all the houses in Nuba Mountains is built of the hair so we just found this very strange people there and so many people were killed and children and women and and the houses were burned down so at that stage, we tried to run towards the mountains to hide ourselves, but it was so many people were dead there because everybody had the same idea to go to the mountains and hide themselves. There, why I had been captured by one of the raiders. He's supposed to save me and take me back to my family afterwards, but obviously he was he was lying. He did not take me back. I'm very very happy that the book intends to stage in a way which is rich people in different angles. 
people can know more about what's going on in Sudan. And also the player, I think, is the live people there. It's, it's, not like, it's not like something you read it in the newspaper or, or, or something you can basically read it in the book. I think it's more powerful. It can cross the message for so many people and reach a lot of people in the world. I'm lucky to have my freedom and I can have the voice to speak out to those who have no voice, at least to raise the awareness people can do something and stop the slavery altogether in Sudan. Through Mendy's story, this play will be a feast of storytelling, of music, of dance and film. But it challenges us all to consider what it is to be free and ask ourselves the question, why, after 200 years since the abolition of slavery, are there now ten times more slaves in the world than at the height of the transatlantic slave trade.